I'm Stephen Lair, Bishop of Human, Bishop for Urban Life and Faith for the Church of England. You're quite angry about Paul Eddy's motion and the way the debate is going. Could you explain why? I'm sad rather than angry. I mean, I, I don't actually fundamentally disagree with what Paul Eddy is saying. But what has saddened me is the way in which those bishops and others who've spoken about the need to attach a proper relationship in our relationship with people of other faiths, and I was called the presence of engagement process, has been detached in a way from the whole sort of evangelistic uh, motive that's behind the Eddie motion. And there's a sort of element within the synod of people who have not got experience of living, working and proclaiming the gospel in a multicultural context, telling those who have got the expertise, Bishop of Leicester, Bishop of Bradford and others, how to do it. Uh, and that makes me very uneasy and I think it's actually wrong. Uh, and I wish people had listened to the original motion and the words of Simon Besson, a man who is very experienced in this whole area, and my own view is it's only on the basis of relationships that you actually make a sort of evangelistic contact that really has meaning in the context of um, evangelism in a multicultural, multi-faith context. How, how will this all go down in areas like Bradford? Well, I just hope that people aren't listening too hard because um, I've no doubt that a Muslim will actually expect a Christian uh, to proclaim his faith and I expect to be able to proclaim my faith. But it has to be on the basis of mutual relationship and respect and understanding. And there's just an element beneath some of the process today of, you know, you've got to do it whatever and you've got to stand up and some of them were rants, some of the speeches we had were evangelistic rants. And so you don't, don't, you don't think that the necessary respect has been there throughout this debate? There are one or two contributions that worried me because they didn't actually seem to have any understanding of a nature of relationship that has to precede good evangelism. So what do you fear from the consequences of this debate? Well, I just hope that we can work through it and maybe on Thursday recover some of the ground in relation to presence and engagement but actually it is only through good relationships that you can actually work effectively alongside your brother and sister of people from other faiths and discuss the faith and proclaim the faith, yes, but actually in a context of mutual respect and understanding. Thank you very much.